three wire Jeep speed sensor and a 2000 Jeep Cherokee. The wires from top to bottom here are five volt reference, ground, and then the signal wire. Here's the Dakota digital signal interface. Now for the three wires off the Jeep speed sensor, the five volt reference is coming from speed plus. That outputs five volts. I have the ground running to speed negative. And then the signal wire from the Jeep sensor runs to input. To power the signal interface box up, all you need is power and ground. So power wire from Ignition Plus runs over to a fuse tap. And then ground runs to a ground. The Jeep speed sensor outputs a 8,000 ppm signal, and the GM LS engine is looking for a 128,000 ppm signal. So here are the two wires for the GM LS speed signal. You have a high and a low frequency wire. According to Dakota Digital, we only need to use the high speed or high frequency wire, which is purple with white, and you can ignore the green wire. The purple with white wire will run to output three. So the 8,000 PPM signal from the Jeep sensor runs to input, and then this box converts it to the 128,000 PPM signal that runs from out three back to the GM computer. Here's the manual for the Dakota digital box. For the Jeep Cherokee I'm working on, application seven is the correct one. It's low to high, so low signal in converts it to high out. There's the out three, sending that signal back to the GM computer and I'm running a 1.0 calibration ratio right now. You can adjust that later if need be. Okay, with the key on, we have a solid light here showing that the device has power. Once a speed signal is detected, that light will start flashing. I'm wiring up a autometer phantom speedometer. The signal wire I have run to the input slot, which is just reading the Jeep 8,000 ppm signal. You can also run it off of the 128,000 converted signal. If you're going to do that, uh, Dakota Digital said run it to output 4, not 3, so you don't interfere with the wire running to the GM ECU. Okay, ran the speed sensor wires up through the floor here. And then the GM VSS wire, I ran up through a grommet right here. Here's the top side. Jeep speed sensors coming up through here. GM speed sensor wires coming up through right here. They both run up under the dash and plug into the Dakota digital adapter right here. Okay, everything's wrapped up now. This has fixed the P0507 check engine light code. It's also helped with the engine not idling so low when coming to a stoplight. Next up, programming the speedometer.